I'd like my dogs to have the skill so that if I am doing, say, signals, for instance, from a distance, and my dog moves forward, I can always tell them to walk back, put them back into position. Uh, I use it as a reset. I use it as a trick. So it's something fun that the dogs have learned to do. And uh, I can ask them to walk back and spin and twist. Uh, so it is just a nice skill to have, not something that you're going to use in the competition ring, but it's something that will enhance your training. So how I teach it, I'll be showing you with Seven. So he has learned the basic part of it. I haven't started a lot of distance training with him yet, um, getting him to go back further. But how I taught it is I get a mat so you could get a mat or a towel or a platform or something so that your dog backs up and his hind legs touch something that is different. So this mat is uh, it's like a plastic mat and these little nodules that are sticking out, um, I can really feel the difference between this textured surface as opposed to uh, this rubber, smooth rubber floor. So when his back legs, uh, feet get on top of this, he is definitely going to feel that yes, he has touched the right surface. So I teach them how to back up to something. And the, uh, I like to shape it. So I will show you with seven. Uh, he is just over 16 weeks. Um, so I'll show you with him. Uh, what I have established and how I started it. Then once um, I show you what I've done with him, the next step when I start building uh, distance, because I don't want to be walking into my dog and saying back up, back up. I want to be back here and ask them to move from a distance without me putting any body pressure towards them. So once I start doing that, then I will use some baby gates or some gutters on either side so that they can actually learn how to back up straight. Because when they're walking backwards, of course, they don't really know where the mat is and it's hard to have a straight line. So I will give them some shoots on either side so that they can learn how to just simply go backwards like this. As soon as the back feet touch the mat, I click. I can either go in and reward, or I can click and I can release my dog to me as a reset, give them a treat at me, and then send them back again. So once you mark the behavior, it doesn't matter where you reinforce, just as long as you reinforce after the click. Okay, so I'll go get seven and I'll show you what that looks like with the dog that is still in the learning phases. First thing that I'm going to do is walk my puppy over the surface that I want their back feet to be on. And then I'm going to click and I'm just going to give them a lot of food with their back feet on the surface. Okay, and then after I've done that, I'm going to guide them off and I'm... So he knows it, so he's taken a step back, but that's what I will do is if you feed a lot on the surface you want, chances are if you're only an inch off forward of it, they're going to seek going backwards to the mat. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work that. So reinforce them here, take them slightly off, wait until they make a decision. And the second that they step on the mat, I'm going to reinforce with quite a few treats in the beginning, okay? I'm going to then take him off a little bit further and see if he can find the mat. Good boy. I'm not asking him verbally for anything because it's not an actual behavior yet. So until he's reliably going backwards to the mat, I'm not going to say anything. Good boy, good. So I stay quiet while he's working it out. 
Okay, so that is probably about his distance right now that I would take him without any shoes. Yes, good boy, very nice. Now that he has this um, behavior that is reliable and he's going backwards nicely, this is where I can now start adding in my Q word, which is going to be walk back. And I can also use a little bit of a hand signal, which I like to do. Walk back, walk back, walk back, yes. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna guide him off again. Walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back. Yeah, very good. And given the reinforcement from me, walk back, walk back. Walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, so that is how I teach my dogs to walk back. Good job, Sammy.